guys and welcome to another video with me Spartan086 Yes I know, it's been a long time Been very busy guys, had a lot of work to do I'm working a lot of weekends and top of my other job Got a second job, having to uh, put it in Like every other person on the planet But, as I did say, I would try my best to do the occasional video for everybody So here I am So I have bought a lot of new tanks and a lot of new vehicles and I will try and get them up as soon as I can There's so many that I can't even tell you <sighs> Where did I start? I might try and get another video done today We'll see Anyway, back to the point Here we have Dun 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 The US Sherman M4A376 I love it I'm not going to lie guys, I absolutely love it Love everything about it. I love the fact that Forces of Valor and Metal Proud have kind of gone the way they said they were going to go. They have decided to start a new line of Shermans and BAM! How many have we had? We've had the Glacius Plate, the regular Sherman, uh, we've had the, we had the Pacific one which was with the HVSS suspension, we had Cobra King, four, that's uh, the 76 Sherman, be five, I'm sorry, I'm just looking out, five, and they also did a revamp of the Sherman Flyby, so technically six, so overall they've done six new Shermans within the line, absolutely love it, sorry I had to look out because I've got them on shelves going down my stairs, I'll do a video about that one day, uh, but overall, I just love it. I love the fact we're going this way and we eventually will get my favourite Sherman variant, the Easy 8. Now, I know some Brits will be like, oh, Blasphemy! The Sherman Firefly. I love the Sherman Firefly. I really do. I do. I really do. But, I'm sorry, but those HVSS tracks, that suspension system, I just love it. I fell in love with it from the moment I saw it. Okay? And that's the way I love it. I do love the Firefly. I love the fact that it could take out a tiger. Okay, and I know there'll be people going, ding, 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 ding. it had. I wouldn't go far as saying it was a tiger killer, you know, but if it managed to sneak up and get a shot off, yep, it could. But overall, anyway, back to this. Overall, love it. Absolutely love it. The way they've done it, I love the way they've got uh, the name of the tank, Julia. They've got the name of the, the crew of the turret. They've got some, the, the disruptive pattern they've added to it. So they obviously went in and got pictures from the tank in action with uh, Task Force Rhine. Uh, on the outer box covering, the protective covering, it has got a ton of information. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys that. So you can see here, obviously, it's got this picture and it's got all about the 761st Tank Battalion. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. It's got a ton of information. I'm not going to read it. It's going to take too much time. But overall, they did it brilliantly. So obviously, they're going with this picture here. You can see here. It's got the disruptive pattern. It's got the names of the vehicle, uh, the names of the crew. It's got the name of, what does that say? Cool Studios and Clody. Incorporated number four, it's got the serial number for the tank as well at the back. Overall, great, great work, absolutely great work. They've done a lot of great effort as well with the tank commander uh, compared to some of the previous ones. Um, I get him up so you can see him properly in my fat hands or not there. So, love that. I'll put some pictures up at the end so you can see everything about the vehicle, get a good look. See if it's for you. Honestly, recommended. That is, I know I probably say that about every, well, not actually, because there's some forces of Allah tanks that have come out that are complete rubbish. But this overall, I, I love and I recommend it to anybody. Another nice wee touch, as my Scotsness is coming out, is the travel lock. 
And it does work on this one. So there was, who was it? Was it Cobra King? Cobra Kings didn't work. As did... Oh, the travel, the, the, you can use the travel lock on both versions of the Sherman Firefly. The original Forces of Valor one, you could use it, but it was very, very flimsy. So, there you go. And obviously the Panther had one, the Yag, Yag Tiger, Yag Tiger had one. Uh, even the new versions of the Yag Tiger have got, they got theirs. They're pretty decent. So, overall, yeah, very good. Another thing I'm going to point out that I do love is the usual with Forces of Valor, the Metal and Proud. You got your wee ducat, and inside you've got your information card. Right? Obviously, it gives you all your information about the vehicle, tells you there the dimensions, length, etc., uh, armor, thickness, main armament. Tells you it's a 76mm M1A1A2 gun. And, oh, there you go, M62 turret. Uh, engine, blah, 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 the crew, blah. Very good stuff. I love when they do that. I really do love when they do that. Uh, the other thing that I do also love, and since they started the new Sherman line, they've continuously done it, is they do the wee ducats again, US Army. And it's the TRF. Well, that's the British saying TRF, which is your trade recognition flash. But with the Americans, I'm not sure. If there's an Americans on there, I know exactly what this is called, fine. But to me, it's, it'll be a TRF. But this is obviously your battalion yeah. symbol, 761, 761st Time Battalion. And I know the yellow over red and blue is armoured. But this, you get these these wee ducats, you get these wee patches with almost every one of them, and I've loved every one of them, like Fifth Armoured, etc. They've all had theirs. Uh, and this, this limited edition patch came in mind. Sweet mother, I love it. And usually I throw out the patch, uh, the boxes and that. This one I'm keeping. Not that I'm going to give it away or anything. Because uh, after a long hard think of what I'm going to do with my Forces of Valor collection. Which has uh, exponentially grown in the last few months. Couldn't help myself, sorry. Uh, is that I love it. I, I'm not going to sell it, but that is just something I can keep. And give, a, uh, give to my kids. But back to the actual point. Love this tank. Absolutely just fell in love with it. It's now mounted on my in my hall. Above my stairs. And uh, it just looks great. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Give me a wee kick about. And you can see exhausts. And the wheels with obviously the V double V double S system in play. So I'm going to leave it there guys, uh, I hope you like it, uh, let us know if you've got any comments, anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to know, but apart from that, have a good one, bye bye.